Righto guys, I have managed to blag a night. I had a word with the missus, Mrs M, and uh, she gave me the all clear. I start my new job on Monday, and uh, so I don't know when I'm next gonna be out, so I thought I'll get this in now while I can. Um, obviously the whole point in this vlog was to fish the Suffolk Water Park main lake. I think I've had a few comments from, uh, mostly from uh, an Ethan Wilson, saying get on the big lake. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So I'm gonna, uh, now pull into the water park and I'll see you in the swim. So here we are, finally down the main lake. Um, I'm in peg 20, known as the poachers. Uh, it's an absolute wee pit out there, like I said last time. So uh, the fishing's not going to be easy. I've only got 18 hours. It's 5 o'clock now, I'm fishing for an hour. Um, I've just pinged out a couple of baits, probably half a kilo, shared amongst both rods. Um, and that's it really, so I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, gauge the situation, and we'll report back later. Sort of in the corner, really. We'll scan around there. Now, we're sort of up up here, it's kind of the end of the lake. Um, there's someone in uh, heaven or hell, I think it's hell. Um, yeah, so I've sort of dropped in fairly close to the guy because he's sort of top rod on, on here at the moment. So I thought it made sense to kind of get as close to him as possible because obviously he's here for a reason. So why wouldn't I be? And hopefully I'll um, intercept the fish as they move through into him. Uh, I've only actually got two rods out. Like I say, it's not really doing it any justice on camera, but there's so much weed out there that I just, I think the third rod would just be an absolute hindrance. <clears throat> but I found a couple of clear spots. So I led them around for, I don't know, half hour. Like I say, we've got shallow water here and I didn't want to sort of thrash around too much and scare the fish off before I even started. But that's my starting point. And the rods are out, we're fishing. And all we can really do now is, uh, I don't know, cross our fingers and hope for the best. Hope for that big old box common to uh, drop down on a bait and grace my mat. That'd be pretty cool. i say there's a, a well-known fish in here called the carrot. Um, big bloody orange goldfish, koi thing. Um, sort of upper twenties, everyone around here knows it. And uh, there's like a, a bounty jar in the shop, so you all put a quid in, and then whoever catches it basically takes the pot. So uh, as much as I'm not a an ornamental fan, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have a drink, watch the water for a little while, and uh, yeah, just take it all in. The swims really um, you know these vlogs are not going to be sort of full of fish action because you know it's by far a run to water the bites can be very few and far uh, between so if you're going to watch these vlogs at least you can sort of hopefully learn something about the lake if you're planning on fishing it or I suppose you can even apply it to you know any, any lake really but this lake in particular peg 20 it's called poacher and the fish are renowned for coming in not like, really close you can literally catch them under the rod tip there is a, a bush to the left and the right um, it's only about three foot deep and say probably a rod length off the bank and fish have always been known to come off those spots um, that's where I originally started off but uh, on the right hand side a fish did bosh around 30 yards of a weed bed 
So in, in any fishing situation, you know, when you see something like that, then you, you know, you jump straight on it. So that's what I did. I pinged the bait over to where I saw the fish jump. Um, it went down with quite a firm fud, um, which is really important, to, especially when fishing in weeds. You know, you need to make sure that you're, you're fishing. Um, but if I hadn't seen that fish, I would have stayed down the right hand side. So then all I've done is sprayed a little bit of bait over that spot and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll do a bite, you know. There's as good a chance as any, really. But uh, not really a lot else to say about this, this swim, really. It's, it's in the shallower end of the lake. Um, this time of year, it's, it's always a good area. Um, but like I say, if you fish and poachers, the, the first port of call is always, you know, fish close in. Um, and if you see something happen, then obviously, you know, adapt your fishing to that. But as a starting point, that, that's where I would be on here. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's one swim ticked off the list. There's, there's not really too much to know about it, really, um, apart from that. Um, but yeah, next session when we're in another swim, um, we'll go for that as well. And uh, yeah, give you a, a good starting point at least, you know. But uh, I'm going to kick back now and just fingers crossed we get that bite. Now the wind's picking up. And I'm under a brolly. So like I was talking about, um, down here is always worth a, a rod. That's where I originally was until I see the fish jump um, here, just off this weed bed. So that's where the, the right hand rod is fishing now. I suppose I probably should get the third rod out and keep one down on the on the right. <coughs> um, we'll see. And the other side of the swim, literally the, <coughs> the bushes here, um, just underneath this bush. And uh, yeah, that's where the other rod is, around about here. It's about a rod length off, um, and that's normally my starting points here. As you look at the swim, um, it's a good couple of hundred yards to the far bank. Um, it's very weedy. You know, if you're going to be down this end fishing this end, you're not going to be down here in the winter. So if you are fishing poacher, then you, you know you're always going to be tackling the weed. But the weed actually starts off sort of here. It runs around, comes up around there, and back in. Um, but yeah, I mean, like you can't really fish too deep into it. It is thick, thick weed. Um, this is what I say. So I always start off in close, and I suppose that's why most people fish in close. I even think it's why it's called poacher because you can almost pretty much stalk them under the rod tips, you know. But yeah, looking over here, I do, I do like this swim here, which is heaven. Very similar to this swim, but it's super shallow over there and. It's pretty much unfishable to be fair. Moving along, um, we've got here is high bank again, another really good swim, very similar to this, but it is a lot weedier over that side, which is why I opted for this side. Um, but this is definitely like the, the, the summer, the summer spot. If you look over there, I think, I think it's this one here. I think, um, is it that one? Yes, yeah, the flagpole. Real popular swim, again shallow water, you've got a big gravel sort of bar in front of you which everyone fishes off, or normally just fish just off that, just slightly into the silt. That's a real popular swim and it's hard to get on this time of year. Um, yeah, that's sort of, this is definitely say that the summer end of the lake, it's the shallower water, it's where the weed is, but it's where the fish are. It's also good, you know, if you're not sort of used to fishing weedy waters, it's a good one to sort of, um, learn your craft really I mean I just generally fish it with singles you can't you know you can fish solid bags as well if you like but always feel for that drop you know spend a bit of time casting around feel for the drop and then like I say just fish with confidence you know Things are looking good going to the evening. Dan next door just had a 30 plus common, a real clean fish. So yeah, even this evening or first thing in the morning, fingers crossed. But uh, it's getting on now, it's sort of late evening. So that can mean one thing and one thing only. It's on the bank cooking. And now it's time. Forgot my stove.
next time, cook him with Amo. Well, after that lovely meal, I'm just going to sit down here and enjoy the evening. Believe it or not, it's actually half nine. The lake's like a sheet of ice. A few fish moving about. So, if I have one in the night, you'll see me, hopefully. If not, I'll see you in the morning. With some beautiful early morning B-roll. In a bit. managed to bag one it's just gone six literally just had it so I'm gonna wake myself up have a quick drink and then uh, we'll get out and have a look oh there you go not a monster 23.6 really angry this is off that one that we cast to that weed bed Last night. There you go. Long lean common. See the other side. <sighs> Happy days. Got a leech on it. Okay, spawned out. Still. Great start to the campaign. It's getting back. saying the importance of casting at shower fish and um, pays dividend again and we had the fish <clears throat> probably not the same fish that jumped but you get the idea um right i've got a few hours left um by the time is mm, sort of still here but that fish has obviously disturbed the swim somewhat um but if i get anything else or anything cool happens i'll let you know other than that i'll probably see you back in the car yeah come on fish yeah, so like I said in the car yesterday, um, I start a new job Monday. I've left Angling Direct and um, I'm now with a bait company. I'll give a few more details on that next time. But I'm on one of the prototype baits at the moment. Haven't got a lot left. There you go. It's got a bit of the matching liquid and powders in it, just to, <coughs> as I always do, just to pimp up a little bit. But like I say, we'll go more into that on the next vlog uh, but yeah first time using it I've had a fish so confidence levels up to a hundred um, 100% catch rate so far but, uh, yeah exciting times new starts
the swim is gutted out. <sighs> it's the worst part of fishing. Not packing up, just reeling in. Not knowing when your neck's coming down. But, you know, we all have a life. Out of fishing. So, I've got to go and crack on my mind. Right guys, right well, there's the end of another one. Um, it was nice to have that bonus fish this morning. I hope you learned a little bit about the, the lake and certainly the swim ice fishing. I would say, obviously in this video, there wasn't as much banter as there, there normally is, but it's a bit of a funny one down here. You know, I think if I was sat up in a tree with my pants off doing something stupid, then it would probably be frowned upon. But uh, next time, it's a bit quieter, you know, we can have a bit more of a laugh. Um, the only thing else to say really is, you know, if you like the content, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be massively appreciated. And if you are already a, a subscriber, if you hit the little bell notification, um, it will notify you the next time I bring out a video. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.